I feel like I say it's been a while every time I start one of these because it's been a while. <laughs> it's, welcome back, everybody. January 26th, 2017. We are doing Mistlin Mystery. We're headed south of the Lumbridge Swamp right now. We're going to go talk to, I believe, Abigail. Is she, Yep, there she is. And Huey. At first came Monkey Madness 2 and then this quest. So let's see what happens. Help! Help! Start the Mistlin Mystery quest. I'm not going to get involved in this. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. I'm kidding. That was a joke. What's going on? They were invited to a house party on an island not far from here. Something felt wrong about the whole thing, but they went anyway. The house seemed pretty creepy, but everything was going fine. We were all having a good time, and that's when we got attacked. I, I tried to save her. I don't think, uh, I don't think we were talking to you, but, uh, Psycho's still out there. You have to bring them to justice. I guess we're gonna go get to the bottom of this and figure out what these two are crying about. You know, that's looking a lot like the Drainer Manor. This was definitely during Jagex's copy and paste phase. I don't know if they're out of that yet entirely, but uh, that's what we're looking at here. Yeah, front door's locked. Why wouldn't it be? What is going on over there? I'm just gonna pretend that it's not there. Cutscene. This man is dancing. You will not be dancing for much longer if I'm gonna guess here. Feels like someone's breathing down your neck. What about that? What did that feel like? Yeah, this guy is just taking a long time to die. Me and the scream guy are both just like, hurry up, die. We have, we have to get through the quest. Where are you? Why are you doing this? I can't believe they didn't answer just now. That is fucked up. I wonder what it was that I saw fall into that barrel conveniently for the plot. They don't teach this trick in school. You put the bucket in the bigger bucket and you take the water out of the bigger bucket with the smaller bucket and it fits. And then there's a key inside always, 100%. And we're in, baby. And, oh God, I have the roof plugging on. I, I gotta fix this. Uh, uh, ad break, ad break. Hey, you like books? Oh. Well, that's okay. That's like what the point of this is. This video is sponsored by Audible. Look, I get it. Words are hard. And that's why audiobooks are the answer. There's like thousands of titles. You've probably heard of like 12 of them. And now you can know more. We live in a time where we don't even need to read books to read them. We, we have someone else do the work for us. It's incredible. Memoirs, mysteries, thrillers, genres. You know genres. Maybe you want to find a cool podcast. They've got those too. I just moved halfway across the country last weekend. And the only thing that got me through that drive was listening to somebody read me Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It was no longer a terrible experience. I know you like efficiency, that's your thing. So while you're doing RuneScape stuff, why not also read without reading? It's a crazy concept, I know, but it's it's at your fingertips because of me. You can go to audible.com slash Jimmy or text Jimmy to 500-500 and you can get a 30-day free trial. Everyone's gonna talk about how handsome and smart you are because you read now. Thanks to Audible for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, we're back. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's ever been wrong. There's a girl stuck in the closet over here. We're gonna see if we can help her out. I don't know. There's a door in my way. I have no idea what's going on in there. I think she just screamed. That was a scream. They should have just had her scream the same sound as the armadillo crossbow. And this could have been like the origin story. Oh, he left a note for me. <gasps> they wrote me poetry. Yes. I fucking hate poetry. Dude, killers that leave clues around so you can like potentially find them are just cringe. How bad do you want a documentary made about you? Okay, I just tried to light this fuse to blow up this wall. I don't know why that's what I'm concluding to do, but <laughs> I can't do it because it's too damp. Yeah, I just do not remember this part at all. I'm just searching everywhere, not sure what's going on. Candles, you have to light the candles. I forgot about that because it's too damp in the room. If you ever need to dry a fuse because it's too damp, just light like four candles around the room. It'll dry the entire room up instantly and you can see set off whatever explosion you feel like. I actually don't use a towel when I get out of the shower. I just light a bunch of candles and stand around while it heats me up. It's called a life hack. Okay, we've successfully demolished the entire side of this building. Now we can continue looking for clues. Uh, this is not a drill. I've just spotted a woman that is in distress. Ma'am, remain calm. I'm here now. How kind of you to join us. Thanks. Good to be here. Do you like quests, Lacey? Oh my god, is he about to plug my series? Okay, she likes quests, apparently. Oh, bad guy. That's sweet of you. And you're even directing her exactly where to go? That is honestly the nicest thing thing anyone's ever done. Hold on a second, what the fuck? What's your favorite scary quest? The one with that vampire in it who lives in a big house. You haven't done any quests, have you? I guess this guy's doing trivia with her, and if she gets it wrong once, he kills her. The vampire that resides in South Mistlin. Well, like, I don't want her to die, but I feel like I'll get in trouble if I say something, but if I don't say anything, she'll just get it wrong and die anyway. I don't know, I'm a sucker for trivia. Uh, it's count check. This game didn't involve you. But I was right though, right? At least tell me I was right. You know I was right. You know, go away. Ooh! Oh, it's a note. I thought it was like a pipe bomb. <laughs> he scurried away. It's like music to my ears. Spelled dead on the piano. Stupid idiot. That's what it says. D E A D. Search the piano and find an emerald key. 
Let's continue, shall we? Mandy, quick. I'm hungry. Also, what is that? I want that. No point staying inside this nice locked room when I could go outside into the creepy darkness. It's a good point, Mandy. Go ahead. Also, unlock this door before you go out. I don't think there is any need to take this big shiny weapon with me. Yes, Mandy, there's no reason at all. Don't take it. But unlock the door, please. God damn it. Oh, she's fine. That was lucky. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god. Guys, I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm very good at this whole private investigation thing. Don't give me another note. I don't want to read another note, dude. If this dude wrote me a third poem, I'm gonna scream. It's- this is just Minecraft enchantment table writing. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Who was writing the quest in 2017? I just had to pay a 12 year old like $300 to decipher what that thing said. I'm just doing whatever he told me to do here. I have no idea what's going on. So this is the last room of the quest, and it's also one of the worst rooms and worst mechanics ever developed for this game ever. This has been absolutely miserable every time I've done this. I'm also really confused as to why I do not take the opportunity when I'm inches away from the killer to fight them, eliminate them, solve all the problems and I allow them to just stroll back into the wardrobe to do whatever they had planned. Basically, the killer hides in these four wardrobes and you have to push the mirror to face the wardrobe and you have to do it before the wardrobe opens so that the knife that they throw reflects back and hits them. And if you are not like tick perfect moving the mirror, you are fucked. Okay, by far the best start I've ever had. I've never gotten the first one. No, did I do it? No, see, that's bullshit. Easy, we're two for three right now. Push it, push it. Why? Dog shit fucking mechanic, dude. It was facing it! Watch, and it's gonna be like, you can't push it that far. Yeah. Yeah, fucking awesome. I don't even know why I'm trying. Yeah. Thank God. Fuck you. I learned this trick from Scooby Doobers. What's up? <gasps> Abigail! You just don't get it, do you? No, I don't! You're all the same, everything always has to be about you. I'd hear about some damsel in distress and go to help, to have my moment, for me to be the hero, just for once. But you, you, and every other darn adventure, every time I get there to help, it's too late, crisis solved, disaster averted, reward claimed. This time, it's all about me. Me, me, me! Abigail. I am literally a member of not only the Heroes Guild, but the Legends Guild. I'm in the most prestigious group of Falador Knights to ever exist. I literally own an island and have a kingdom with a wife there also. I just remembered that. I should check on her. I've stopped global warfare like 80 times now. What I'm trying to say is none of that matters because a person who has done all of what I've done does not normally just stop what they're doing to go solve some murder case on an island no one's ever even heard of. Do you know how many people are going to hear about this little adventure of mine when I get back? Zero. Abigail, no one will ever know or care that I was here. And I didn't do any of that to be a hero. I did all of that, including this, because I'm bored out of my fucking mind. So, lady, you just don't get it. Holy shit, there's two of you. <gasps> Huey. They were in cahoots this entire time. I could not have seen this coming. These two are lovers and they decided to kill all their friends. It wasn't the best move, but you know, I get it, I guess. So Abigail's trying to take the entire spotlight and not give Huey any credit for this terrible thing they've done. Huey, I would probably take this opportunity to actually let her have this. She's gonna go to jail, probably get executed. It's medieval times, anything can happen. Whoa! What a crazy turn of events. And she's crying. Do I comfort her? I don't know if I should... I should probably take her out. Not like take her out on a date, like 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 take this knife real quick. Hey Abigail, nice performance. Break a leg. I don't know if that worked. I didn't break her leg or anything. I just kind of stabbed her. She got the point though. Oh, she's alive still. Hey, it's Mandy. She grabbed the sword and now she's here. Oh, Mandy just specked her out. Mandy, how are you alive? I did get stabbed, but I was born with a rare condition called dextrocardia. It means my heart is on the right side of my chest, not the left. Wow, that is incredibly convenient for the plot. I'm meeting Mandy out here and wrapping things up. Getting the hell off this island, never speaking to this place again. What a wacky day. Like, what was that, you know? Part of me still thinks this is like me getting pranked and none of this was real. I mean, I definitely stabbed that person. Well, it's not my problem anymore. Quest complete, 600 crafting XP, some gems, we're golden. Let's get the fuck out of here forever. Mandy, it's been real, or maybe it's been very incredibly fake and all of you are just paid actors. It really doesn't make a difference to me. Take it easy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we successfully completed 129 quests in order of release date, and unfortunately, this is where the account officially breaks. Walk with me.
talk with me. I've had to break arrow restrictions before, like with the soul rune and legends quest. And I've had to start a quest out of order to complete the next in line, but I've never had to break the only true rule of the account, do every quest in order of release date. And unfortunately, today's the day that we have to. The next quest is Klein of Karend, released on April 20th, 2017. And it introduced the Zarek storyline for the first time. Five years later, and there's now 10 quests a part of the Great Karend series, it got developed a lot further than they ever imagined. And to give the current storyline a little more consistency, a quest released in February 2019, X marks the spot, was made a requirement for Client of Karen just last year. So there's no way around it. To continue all the way through the quest cape, we have to make this one major exception. The good thing is, is that this quest is hardly even a quest. It's a mini quest at best. I don't understand why this is considered a real quest, but you know what? Let's get it over with nice and quick. Here's what made me break the entire account. So this is Veos. He's this old guy who's hanging out in a newly added Lumbridge bar. He's in town from Karend and doing some sort of clue scroll. Since he's not from here, he asked if I could help him do it. This was essentially the introduction of beginner clue scrolls, uh, which is what this quest is. I went near Bob's axe shop. I dug up a clue. I went behind the castle, found another one. I dig next to Layla, another one. I dig in the pig pen. I found the thing. I walk next door to Port Serum, hand it over to him. He thanks me and he gives me a quest complete scroll with 200 coins and a shitty antique lamp. And there it is. And now we can go on as if nothing happened happened because it didn't. Nothing happened. I don't know why you keep saying something happened. I didn't. Back me up in the comments. You guys fucking saw that. Also like the video, you freaks. <sighs> What are we doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We just did, uh, we did, we did Missile and Mystery, and now we're doing Klein and Karend. Nothing happened in between. Here we go. Tell me more about the Great Karend. A magnificent kingdom comprising of five cities. They are the cities of Arceus, Lovacan, Shazian, Piscarilius, and Hosidius. The kingdom used to be ruled by a king or queen that the house is answered to, but it's now ran by the Karend Council. Can you take me there, please? Well, looks like we're heading for Port Piscarilius. You know, I guess it's not all that bad that this happened. I'm glad they tidied up the Karen storylines and actually did something with this giant fucking landmass, because this place did not always look like this. When Karen first came out in January 2016, it was like someone just messed around with the map editor for a few hours, added some trees and shit, and then was like, hey, you mind if I just throw this shit in the corner of the map? And the corporate guys were like, shut up, man, I'm selling the company for the eighth time this year, keep it down over there, you fucking cubicle guy. But over the years, they put out a bunch of updates, made things look pretty by it pretty much yoinking a Redditor's design proposal, established lore, and now Karen kind of serves as a monument that, that separated old school RuneScape into its own game and not just legacy servers. But here it is, and here I am. Let's do the quest. April 20th, 2017, quest 130, Client of Karen. We're talking to Veos, we just did a favor for him back there. Now we're gonna see what's going on over here in this scary foreign land. I guess Veos has a client on the mainland who's interested in learning about Karend, and Veos has to gather info on the five houses for them. He was gonna do it himself, but since I'm new around here, he says it's a good opportunity for me to get to know the kingdom better. You know, Veos, I, I did your little errand on the mainland because you're unfamiliar with that place, and now you want me to do your errand here also because I'm unfamiliar with this place. Where exactly in this little equation do you start running your own errands? He gave me some magic scroll that doesn't show what I write on it. Only the client can see what I write on it. I will be misspelling a lot of things, not knowing what if I wrote the right word. That's their problem, not mine. So essentially, I'm helping someone sketchy do some sketchy shit. Wouldn't be my first nor the last time. So we're gonna head to each city's general store and ask him about the, the houses. Also, I just realized I need a feather. One second. We use the feather on this thing and we get an enchanted quill. Up first is Piscarilius. I'm gonna take a wild guess.
guess that these are the fishermen, the pirates, anyone who's a fan of water, uh, they're here. We've arrived and the general store person is a girl. I'm shaking uncontrollably. Let's see what happens. This just in, she's speaking in poems. I'm no longer attracted nor afraid of this woman, just irritated. Yeah, they're literally just fishers. And if I get favor with them, they'll let me fish here. Yeah, that sounds great. I'll get on that first thing. My guy's calling her out for not rhyming on the last one. Listen here, pal. Do you want that happy rhyming leans or angry gruff and pain inflicting leans? I mean, as long as you're wearing heels, I don't really, uh, I don't... I'm just gonna go. What if I left? I'm gonna leave now. Look, it's a father carrying his child. It's so beautiful. Who's Dobwinkle? Who are these people? Now, this is a, it's very pretty. I actually, I wonder, I don't, oh, I'm not playing like with this thing on. I just want to see what it looks like with HD. Whoa. My eyes hurt? Last time I was here, I broke my account. I don't like it here. Ragath, Ragoth, what's up, brother? Why should I be so trusting to you? That's a good point, actually. No one's really asked that before. Uh, but I'm a journalist. Man, lying is so easy and, and cool. These are the floating magic library guys and runecrafting enthusiasts. They don't really care about a king or queen, any politics whatsoever. They just want everyone to read books and go to school and be educated and all that boring shit. And my guy is screaming. The scroll's glowing and a pain just soared through my arm. I'm sure nothing's gonna come of this. So here's all the people near the town square protesting the council. They're all saying they want a king and a queen again. It's a very wacky world when people are begging for a monarchy instead of a republic. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not talk to any of these people. All right, we're going to Lovaken, the city of the dwarves. Who wants to take a wild guess of what they do here? If you've guessed mining and smithing, the only possible answer, you are correct. I wonder who decided way back at some point that dwarves are just gonna be the mining guys in every fantasy setting literally ever. No one has ever had to think to themselves, huh, I wonder what the dwarves should be known for in our new world with limitless freedom and creativity. Oh, I know, what if they were just still the smithies and miners? Yes, just as I expected, they're typical dwarves. If we want to gain favor for them, we do smithing related activities. And I'm not going to go into detail about what they want me to do exactly because I'll throw up thinking about getting favor here again. I'm putting this series off for another six months when I need to get 100% favor. Screw that. Up next is Shazian. I've been saying Shazian and I've just learned it's Shazian. It's named after Mod Reach's old cat because he was a fucking warrior for surviving surgery. You learn something something new every day. Uh, here we are. So this is their little battle camp. They just recently updated this place, and by recently I mean sometime in the last two years. It could have been last week, it could have been 2019, I don't. Those are all the same thing to me. Shazian are like the warrior army guys. Look at them. Cold War penguins did it better. They're better than you guys. What's up? And then to the south, we have the actual town. And this place is badass. Also, I'm gonna pickpocket. I, I'm gonna not pickpocket anymore. I'm sorry, that was very uncalled for. I deserve that. This this place is badass. By far the coolest designed area in the entire game, and I wish there was literally anything to do here. But there's no reason to come here except just to look at things, which I guess is fine. What are you looking for, me love? Is this supposed to be like an accent? Because I don't understand what I'm supposed to be, how I'm supposed to be hearing you. Ah, they're fighting the good war. So these dudes are constantly fighting off the lizardmen. We don't really know about them yet though, so I'm not going to talk about them. But yeah, they're the samurai military guys. You, you get the point. Well, we've got one more place to go. I'm going to explore this for another 15 minutes. Dude, this is so fucking sick. I feel like this was a passion project or something. Like, this- it's very cool. I think this is probably the prettiest place in the game, but I feel like there's just a lot of pointless things here that, like, not enough people are gonna appreciate. I served in the military for 30 years. This monument always reminds me of my day in the army. Okay, do you even know what that says? Are those real words? Written in some ancient language. What ancient language? We gotta translate this, dude. This could be the key to the first Easter egg we ever find. No one's explored this place, dude. We gotta fucking explore. New recruit Tony? <laughs> dude, there's so many NPCs here. I won't go back to training. This dude's fucking deserting. I'm gonna have to tell the Sarge about this. You'll do anything, huh? How about max fucking cash, idiot? Alright, we're going to Hosidius. This is like the farming land. It's very pretty, very green. Farming, farming, more farming. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, we just got something whispering in our ear to return to Veos. Uh, it's freaking me out. I think I might be going insane. I'm gonna go over there and just, uh, get rid of this paper. So fucking scream internally for a year. Veos, I did that stuff you wanted me to do. Yeah, so I'm telling Veos that I'm a little concerned about the voice in my head. He's just kind of like, yeah, yeah, that happens sometimes. Apparently something I said provoked emotion. The dark altar. I don't remember when I said anything about the dark altar, but I said it apparently. Now Veos wants me to take this orb and activate it next to the dark altar. We're gonna go north of Arceus, activate this thing, and uh, hope we're alive after. My guy, I'm just so, I'm so brave. Dude just hands me some crystal ball 
wall it says go to the dark altar and I'm just like fine I'm pretty sure every time that the world is about to enter a catastrophe it's because of me doing something without thinking like this and then I just have to fix it like I don't even know what a dark altar is it sounds scary but you know that's for future me to worry about if someone said to me hey what should we name that thing I'd say dark altar so I'm gonna guess that this is the dark altar Okay, the orb just smashed into a thousand pieces in my hands. Someone just said my thanks. So I'm gonna go back to Veos so scary people stop talking to me in my head. I mean, I hope it helps. I don't know. Veos, things are still creepy and weird. Also, that thing exploded in my hands. I don't have hands. He says he doesn't know what I'm talking about. He hasn't spoken to me since I got to Karend. Oh, what the fuck? <gasps> Veos just became his client. Whoever the client is just became Veos. Look, look at the name. I asked him who he was and he wouldn't tell me. That's unfortunate. He said that Veos is going to be fine though. And he's going to force Veos to give me a reward. So Veos is about to get Jedi mind tricked into handing me rewards out of his own pocket and not know why. Quest complete. I've done something terrible. <laughs> why is there not an option to ask you what the fuck just happened? Okay, well, I guess that's just, I guess that's all. We don't get to ask about it. There's no option to ask about it, but there you have it. There's Klein of Karend. I don't really know what we just did, but what I do know is that I will be fixing whatever I just started at some point in the future, because that just didn't seem good. All right, before I head out, I just want to say a couple things. I just moved halfway across the country last week so that I could be a lot closer to family. The last two years have been pretty rough, so I think this move is what I needed. But thank you guys for being on the ride with me because it made everything a lot easier. On another note, the world is pretty crazy right now, so I hope you're all doing all right. And, uh, you know, remember to get off Twitter and social media every once in a while and enjoy the things and people around you. We do be taking everything for granted, so, you know. Just look around a little bit, see what you find, I don't know. Uh, but that's all I got. Thanks again for being here. I'll see you guys soon.